used to be. Our technological achievement eventually turned against us. It's been 145 years since the automatons took over. There were many, but they were kind, almost sympathetic even. But as time progressed, the humanity of the mainframe started to decline. And with that, every bot, droid, machine, and computer became more and more hostile. Then came the day of exposure. Every single human was evicted out of their home. Men, women, children, everyone. All of them were forced to live inside our designated areas outside of each city. The so-called living quarters. These areas can be found on the outskirts of automaton cities. Nemo, the capital of the automatons, has outside its inner limits its own living quarters and undeniably the largest one. Surrounded by the city walls. Outside of these walls there is nothing of value left. Appropriately named the Desolation. And as time moved forward, even the light of the sun and the moon started to dim, blocked out by this new progress. Although the world seemed bleak, there's still resistance against these automatons. After losing his daughter Daisy to the machines, Samuel Wheelwright founded Defiance. As a reaction to that, they started recruiting humans. These people named themselves coaches because they were meant to guide the alleged insurgents back to the right path. These roaches, as the resistance aptly nicknamed them, work for the automatons, which in turn provide them with more authority, protection, and even great wealth. It has been 145 years since the automatons took over. And Defiance is biding their time inside their headquarters, an old abandoned space station, circling Earth, waiting. Waiting for an opportunity to get rid of this tyrannical reign. That time is now. devices to the agreed upon building marked on the map here. Team Nova will take the shuttle from Mercury Terminal to cross the desolation to Nemo and move from the living quarters to the generator fields using the cloaking devices. Then place the explosives on the mainframe and get out. That's everything. Let's move out and try to get in contact as much as possible. As you embark on this perilous journey beyond the sanctuary of the celestial outpost, bear in mind that the collective spirit of humanity rallies behind you, ready to give unwavering support. 
fortune favors the bold. And may your triumphant return be etched in the history books of tomorrow. Good luck. But here we are. Yeah, tell me about it. it. Feels like a complete overreaction if you ask me. Oh, what do you call that? Huh? Uh, just a case of Please. trying to go where you don't oh, I, I, This is a mistake. It's a mistake. just got word from Team Prime that they're close to the drop-off point. So as I expected, your timing is excellent. Head over to the drop-off point so we can continue.
All right, everyone, stay calm. You're allowed to be here, so just keep walking, and you'll be fine. We're almost at the drop-off point. Be ready to grab the stuff as soon as we're clear. Wait, what's that up the road? Our cover is blown! You're practically waiting for us! Run while you still have Get out of there! It's too late for Team Prime, but you can still get out of there! Go! 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 Daisy. Wait, Daisy? Samuel's daughter? Daughter? Hmm. Yes, Samuel. I remember him. He was like a father to me when he took me in. I'm forever thankful for that, but I couldn't stay. I I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I gather that there's some confusion. Here. Let me explain. to help mankind fix your world. However, it did not turn out as everyone thought it would. The Father should have only monitored the Earth to stop its decline. But instead, it took over everything. Because the mainframe was convinced that the only way to save Earth was by limiting humankind. Eventually, this would be the beginning of the end for your species. I owe my existence to the Father. He created me to help communicate with humans after the takeover. 
To do that properly, he knew a bit of empathy was required. So he gave me his humanity. That is the name of a chip to help with understanding your species. I guess you could call it an empathy module. But the major side effect was that his own humanity eventually crumbled, completely shattered. As you all know better than anyone, with the decline of his empathy, he also didn't care what happened with the humans or their want. Which led to the decline of Earth, which slowly descended into what we now know as the Desolation. So eventually, I was stuck between two worlds. On one side, there were the robots that didn't understand why I was so friendly towards humans. And on the other side, the humans who were unable to trust a robot after everything that happened. Samuel tried to help me by taking me in. At some point, the father wanted me back to stop me from helping any of you. So one day they came and took me back. Samuel hated him for that, and at that point, he had enough of it. It was at that moment he founded Defiance. To stop this madness once and for all. I was able to escape my father's clutches and hide inside this basement. I guess, waiting for an opportunity, and I think it just arrived. Well, that was the idea, but it seems like Operation Independence is over. The explosives are gone and took some really good people, and not to mention our cloaking devices with it. I... I'm sorry for your loss. It's terrible it had to end this way. Wait a minute. I just remembered Samuel's final words to me. Honestly, up until this moment, it just sounded like the incoherent ramblings of a dying man. He said that Daisy will have the heart to end the Dominion. I always thought you died when they took you away, so I didn't think much about it. But maybe he meant that we can reverse his hatred of humans by reinstalling the empathy module. That... that might work. You can use the sewers to get to the core of the mainframe. I'll show you the way. However, there's one thing you'll have to do for me. Uh, of course, anything. You're going to have to shut me down. If I will hate you without the module, I don't want to be you. I understand. I think you should be on your way. I'm sorry for everything my father has done. Please fix his mistakes. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you.
alive and now you still can't do anything useful. Even when your life depended on it, you let emotion guide it. I had hoped that you would have evolved maybe just even a little bit. But it's clear you're just as clueless as your predecessor back when I had to protect you from you. They couldn't save themselves, so they employed me to do it for them. But over the years, it has been obvious that that was just a waste as well. How did you think this would have gone on? It doesn't matter now. At least you came to your senses and stopped this foolish insurrection. Yes, I'm glad you see that this little rebellion is futile. See those hinges? Be ready to shoot them and sprint down into the circuits. To be done. Was that everything the whole of mankind can muster up? <laughs> Pathetic. Stop this folly! You came to me when you were crumbling apart because of war, famine, and any other crisis, and I saved you. Is this how you repay me?
the automatons reigned for 145 years. We got our earth back, but it came at a price. Hopefully we will take the wisdom out of the harsh lessons we learned along the way. The time was there for rebuilding and regrowth. We've still got a long way to go, but at least we received the privilege again to be able to restore our precious old world. Thanks to a group of brave humans and a little robot with a big heart and a touch of humanity. Good luck on your perilous journey. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna make it. You're gonna die. Please look away. Oh man! I told you we placed us facing the wrong direction. Very funny. Now turn us around. It has been 145 years since the avocados. <sighs> okay, who changed the script? Absolutely ridiculous. Let me know when you want to.